and I'm very excited to welcome now our first uh, speaker, Professor Hiroshi Ishii, director from the Tangible Media Group from the MIT Media Lab. And he is one of the most curious persons I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Always eager to learn more and explore, explore more. And um, he will talk about his vision of radical atoms, you can, yeah, and um, the leap beyond tangible bits. Please welcome Hiroshi Ishii. So Hina, thank you very much for the kind introduction. It's a really great pleasure for me because RCA is kind of the always source of inspiration. I know Durell Bishop almost 25 years ago. His marble and sunning machine really inspired the concept of tangible bits. How many people know marble and sunning machine? Durell Bishop and the Professor Gillian Crampton Smith and all the stream of the amazing uh, uh, innovations, but also very poetic, beautiful aesthetics, always inspired MIT media and the entire planet. Also, Anthony Dune, Fiona Levy, who recently visited us, is kind of the real, like a, a lighthouse, setting the light in the dark world of the capitalism. And always critical design, always inspire us to think hard. And, uh, but uh, today, uh, it's a great pleasure that uh, we happen to have amazing students from RCA, always looking for the collaborators. But in the consecutive three years, Daniel Taba, Hirina, now Oksana working very hard. All RCA happen to be RCA, but uh, it's really exciting to work with those amazing students. So the recent out latest outcome will be presented by Rini Yao in the latest, but uh, today I'd like to show one of the stream of the research called Transform. First of all, why I'm so excited here is so many different ideas colliding. No uniform monolithic visions, but the difference really matter because that creates opportunity of discourse, disagreement, argument. That's the engine of innovation. Then new discipline, transcending. So that's the whole reason we really share a lot of excitement about at the boundary or edge. So art and science is very interesting a boundary. More specifically, I'd like to introduce the first project at the boundary of music and technology. Xiao Xiao is my PhD student uh, finishing, and uh, this is her work of the Mira Fugue. So music starts even before pianist hits the first key, generating sound, vibration, air, or the breathing, movement of the body, or the beginning of the performance of the music, calligraphy, or dance. How to capture all the process, tension, embodied representations. Also now she living in piano, but three Xiao Xiao living. Then the other Xiao Xiao can collaborate. Well, your grandma might be the famous pianist, but she passed away. But the grandchildren still can play with her. So it's a challenge against iPod MP3 player. <laughs> because we really care about embodied interaction, how body really play important role to emotional aspect, which you know very, very well. So I'd like to show the latest project we presented last year in Milan Salones. Uh, this is a shape display called Transform. Let me show the short video clip. So today I'd like to talk 20 years of research behind that into 20 minutes. So I, I speak very fast, sorry for that, but I leave a PDF of a slide. And uh, fundamentally, our 20 years uh, research is battle against pixel empire. Pixel dominate entire planet, TV, screen, uh, whatever, but intangible, decoupled from the body or physical space, that sucks. So we started the tangible bits 20 years ago, giving a physical form of digital information. But now I realize atoms so shy, frozen, so decided to make material dance. 
that's a transform used for the first prototype. But the radical atoms, large vision, all the research happening in my group is something to do with visions. And uh, we care about the vision a lot because all the technology get obsolete. Your loved machine, smartphone, go to landfill in three years. You never have any attachment except for your Google account. So also all the needs dramatically change. LP, CD, uh, CD ROM, MP3, all gone. Still, you love to listen to music, but totally different application needs. But the vision, like a Barnaby Bush mimics, Douglas Engelbert collective intelligence, or Ivan Sutherland ultimate display. These are all important vision. If you don't know what you, I'm talking, take my class, come to MIT. I teach all this kind of visionary stuff. But uh, <laughs> great, mouse is connected, so that's important. <laughs> so so we need a direction, otherwise I can't do anything. Uh, Tanjo Bits is a kind of classic effort we started uh, to make information graspable, tangible. So one of the source of inspiration is Orari. How many people saw the Orari? It's a beautiful representative knowledge about astronomy or universe or solar planet. The beauty is not only the beauty of aesthetics, but the interaction. This handle is, is grabbed by your ha hands so that you have a complete impedance matching of kinesthesia embodied. There's no ambiguity about the causal chain. Based on your kinesthesia, muscle, bone, neural, neural network, fire up, then in sync, all the planets start flying around the sun. No ambiguity, clear causal chain, just the power of the physicality, embodied interaction, that's completely missing in pixel empire. Mm -hmm. So also it supports the collaboration very naturally. All the people can come together. It's a real 3D. It's not a fake 3D on 2D screen on one person point of view. That's a real <coughs> fake, but it's real. So, this is the kind of the reason we started uh, physicality, tangibility, co totally audit from VR or AR. And uh, this is an early project called Sandscape because urban planner used the clay or sand material for thousand years to sculpt to make the So this is an installation in Arsenal How many people went to Arsenal Beats. That's another great place. You really get uh, energized. But you can see the water drainage, shadow. All the simulation happen while you're changing form. Changing form, you don't need any speciality. All the kids play the sandbox. But the computation algorithm inform you about analysis. So right brain, aesthetics. Left brain, computation analytics together. But the one problem is these sounds are shy, frozen. They don't remember the shape once you destroy. That sucks. That's the reason we started to hack the material to teach sounds how to memorize, memorize, then dance. So radical atom is basically important challenge against two materials. Uh, today, I saw the textile environment, yesterday product design. It's amazing, it's so beautiful. But the mainly, you, have, you are using only two materials. One is frozen atoms, like wood, metal, plastic, glass, or dynamic but intangible pixel stuck behind the 2D screen, no physical substance. So radical atom is crazy a uh, challenge to make a sound material, which computation, but the physical and dynamic. So the lo very long stream uh, of the research, upper stream is shape discipline, which I'm going to talk. But the later, uh, leaning and also uh, Jiffy talk about uh, promos the materials in the lower part. So in the light bottom, you see the biologic. That is the latest outcome. And also Oksana and Hirina contribute a lot. So Let's go to shape to spray. So Sandscape doesn't have any memory of the shape. So we decided to make a kinetic memory. But also you can really dynamically change. So imagine erosion of the mountain, mountain buildings. You can always see graphically, but also physically. So this is a redefinition of rendering. Rendering is not anymore just a pixel. But also you can fly through the ti uh, uh, temporal axis at a time, go back to million years. You can directly manipulate but also invent a new language, mid-air gesture. So we are inventing a new representation of radical atoms, then creating a new interaction design, how to communicate to this material. And uh, this is the inform that uh, Daniel Reitzinger and the Sean Forma put a lot of energy. How many, how many people saw this video? Oh, great. Oh, amazing. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so you can sleep. But <laughs> the important something about telepresence is so appealing. So many cool applications, CAD or uh, I don't know. But for uh, some reason, people are really excited because now you can be in London and also Boston simultaneously. But not just pixel, not the audio visual, but the physical substance so that you can really affect. So you have to man manipulate. 
So I think that this mechanical hair operation has something very, very powerful. And also beauty is not only the hand, you can use any props, hand objects. So now this uh, basket becomes an extended hand to help. So this opened up a lot of interesting, uh, crazy application that uh, we've been working on that. But uh, you can see all this video uh, online, but uh, let me go to the great mouse, thank you. It's connected. <laughs> also, also, so this exhibition we did in the Cooper Hewitt Design Museum. Did anybody go? But no problem, this machine is not done in my lab. If you come to my lab, you can really uh, see it. But uh, we're very much interested to disseminate those ideas. So most important thing is not the technology or not the instant, but the fact you can make material dance, materials remember all the stuff, then transform. That's totally change the concept like affordance. You guys know the affordance, but the affordance based on the relatively frozen atoms. Once the material starts dancing, it's scary very anxious. So these are all the reasons we are interested about opening up a new door to the research. So this is INFORM. So we encapsulate three engines of INFORM to make a transform, and also we love this uh, triptych. So we decided to make a kinetic triptych using a three INFORM. That's called transform. And one of the key ideas is collision. Only five minutes? Oh, life is so short. Okay, <laughs> design technology is always interesting tension because uh, Milan Salon is great about furniture design, but the furniture is almost frozen. So beauty is basically skin, surface. But we want to make a collision of dynamic collision of the machine beauty, dynamism. So this is a kind of summary, but the transdisciplinary is so important and the finding opportunity in conflict between discipline, art, science, design, technology. Also deconstructing the old paradigm to create a new archetype. That's something you guys are doing, what we're doing, and the transforming beyond the preconceived concept. There must be something to inspire and the surprise. So we exhibited to the uh, one week, and the 5,000 people came, and the 100 told me, amazing, if they speak English. <laughs> That's great. So let me show the uh, portion of the video clip. Okay. Okay. So we are very interesting about uh, demonstrating that uh, this can be the media of storytelling. As a metaphor, rabbit autonomous is like an image of a new white canvas, paint brush, ink, waiting for the Picasso or Gogh to make something really beautiful, amazing. But uh, as an early prototype, we try to uh, tell the story of nature versus machine. So this is nature of the way. But the machine was very jealous about the beauty of the nature. So they started to imitate, emulate the beauty of the nature using a computational algorithm. So under the water, you can imagine mathematical equation driving these kind of way. So this is the evolution of a computational algorithm to emulate aesthetics of the way. Machines are jealous about people because you dance, hang out, or tweet, or Facebook. So socialization is something important. But the radical atoms find a friend with the frozen atoms, in this case, red boy. So now they are dancing. In a very dry world, we call intermarketing interaction. But the giving life, even to inert object, this was great, running out of the living. It's very, very interesting as we saw the pneumatic uh, uh, design. Anything moving gives you the sense of living, of life, of existence. Also, we didn't hide the machine, we exposed the machine because the beauty of the machine contradicts all the beauty of the skin. The so the end of the story is the ancient civilization near seashore, BC 7000, there's a king, empire, big city. But that empire didn't last long. The nature struck back. Then they started sinking under the water. Then it was completely forgotten, like a country. So that's a story we told to uh, Milan Salone, asking what kind of story you want to tell with this new media, because just more. 
So we believe inventing a new medium of representative idea and interaction really opens the door to new artistic exploration and also design. So this is not the end. And uh, anyway, we, we work with amazing people. It's so exciting to get the idea. But also new generation of students who just joined last year took this platform to tell a new story. The people asked what this means. What does this mean is a pretty profound question. But maybe in a more, not so practical, but uh, how to envision the future, how these materials may change the way people do interior design. It's amazing uh, product design, interior design, environment design, but often made of frozen atoms. But atoms have a memory, and environment has a contextual awareness or intelligence. You can do a lot of stuff. We don't gamble, so this is not serious education, but uh, important this is possible as a non new vocabulary, like a new matic engine, like a workshop participants spread. You don't need to hear it. conceptually perfect heavenly bed, you don't feel any friction. So I really appreciate art because art brings a lot of the important perspective. So I like astronomy and the people inventing a telescope and amazing observatory, but all stuck on the earth, stuck bound to the earth, that's a problem. But this is a huge jump, quantum leap of Hubble Space Telescope, which relieved us from the constraint of the earth then you can really see the world totally differently. And this is my favorite machine, Voyager. How many people saw the Voyager? Do you know Voyager went too far away, or the solar system? And uh, anyway, so I think uh, it's a, uh, they travels. How many people saw the interstellar? The Martian, the gravity. Good, your friends. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but the most important, you can now look back yourself, us. That's the most important reflection. So I think a uh, key idea is, this is another uh, Pluto, but I have to wrap up. And a new horizon, thanks to NASA. And the uh, important thing is people could only see the world from their own perspective. Perspective really constraint. If you think I'm an artist, it's dead end. You, you have no idea about how it's difficult to implement, how much it costs. So if you say I'm an engineer, you are not really contributing to the philosophical stuff. So important thing, you have to speak all the language. So I think to do so, you have to really enhance, expand, and also escape from the constraints. To do so, this kind of a cross-cultural collaboration seems so important. So you have to understand that the world is changing so dynamically, universe always expanding, holistic perspective is very important, but also heuristic focus is very important from your original point of view, you have to focus. So in this case, we are focusing about the radical atoms as the new materials. So I think the future is not to predict, but to invent is a very famous uh, uh, what message from Alan Kay. And to do so, we really care about three things. We have to have a really vision. Vision is the most important driving force for us. Then you have to really envision the future you really want to give to the, your descendants. But also you have to embody, speaking all the technological, scientific language, also design. But in the end, work has to inspire people. Otherwise, people forget, never care. Envisionment, vision often comes from philosophy and the art. Also, whether you can inspire that come to the level of the art. So I like name of Royal College of Arts. <laughs> Don't change the name arts to design, <laughs> even though government likes it. <laughs> so I think uh, this is uh, end. Thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs>